Narus, no return until successful. This story inspired me, and uh, I used to hear it growing up. But at this moment in time, it has brought me so much energy to push forward. And this is a story that I got from the Nas people. Currently, they call themselves the Nuer people. How they expanded in South Sudan and all the way now into Ethiopia. And how did they do that is during initiation processes, after the young men have been trained and they have been prepared for all kind of warfare in their neighborhoods with the neighboring tribe and what was happening is, young men will meet and set themselves a goal. And that means, and then they convince the elders and they talk to their families and they talk to their community and they say, look, we are going to set off. And as we set off, we are not coming back until we succeed. And they only come back when they succeed. How do they do it? They go, these 300 men, they only have their spears. They don't even carry stuff to sleep on. They don't carry any food. It's just them and their spears and their colleagues and they set off to scout out a new territory. When they meet other tribes, they fight until the last man. Most often, they succeed. And when they conquer that area, they intermarry with those people. They bring a new system in that place where they respect the people they are. And then they send message back home to their families that we succeeded. Mostly what happened is they intermarry with those people. And mostly they don't try to get females back from where they come from. And that's how the Nas people expanded. And if you go to the Nas as a people, there's not like a pure Nas person who call themselves, I'm a pure Nuer. They're a mix of several tribes that they have gone to their areas. Why am I telling this story of the 300 men? What inspired me on this point is they've set themselves a goal that they're going there and then there's no return until successful. And that story, I brought it into my life. What is that goal in my life that I can set my mind onto? That I'm not going to get back home until it succeeds. Mostly now, if you look this in the context nowadays, most people have their family members, you move to a new city, you're still being supported, you're still calling your mom, send me money, send me this, send me this. My question to you is, what is that thing in life that you can set your mind on? Just like those 300 men, no returning until you've succeeded. What is that?